started the day with sunshine, but the clouds rolling on in ahead of our next weather system. And you can kind of see right here this strip of snow in parts of Indiana, a little bit near Lexington and, uh, and Cincinnati. But really anything that's getting closer to the Commonwealth is drying up before it hits the ground. So really nothing of major concern as we head through tonight. In fact, future tracker from a wide view kind of showing that drier air uh, claiming victory so far tonight. So it's going to be a while before we start to see any snow showers making their way into our neck of the woods. But this is 4 AM could see a few of those mainly in the highlands, but it's this system we're going to keep an eye on heading into tomorrow morning. So if you're watching from the NRV, you might see some snow showers developing anywhere between 7 AM and 11 AM tomorrow. But keep in mind the road is actually very warm right now, so most of what we see tomorrow is going to accumulate on the cars and on the grass. Now in Roanoke, you're probably looking at a start time anywhere between 10 AM and 1 PM as far as the snow showers go, but also could be a little bit of a mix in parts of the area with snow lasting the longest in the highlands through tomorrow afternoon. So this is 2 PM. You see areas east of the Blue Ridge warm enough for it to be mainly rain with a few wet snowflakes mixing in, but a mix of snow and rain in the Roanoke Valley, keeping on to some snow in the NRV in the highlands. Then as we head through the later part of the afternoon by supper time, we're seeing snow to the north, mainly rain to the south with things then tapering off by tomorrow evening. So areas in the pink in the highlands and also in Craig County around Mountain Lake could see anywhere from one to three inches of snow. Areas in the white, the Roanoke Valley, the I-77 corridor, the New River Valley, Lynchburg could see up to an inch of snow. Now keep in mind, that doesn't guarantee that you see an inch of snow on the ground, especially because the ground temperatures right now are actually fairly warm. So why do we keep saying that? Okay, back in December, the sun very low in the sky, which is why anything that we see in December and January usually sticks. But here we are in March and the sun angle is 47 degrees, so it's a little higher and the road is able to warm up a little more. In fact, road temperatures right now in the 50s and 60s. So again, anything we see sticking is number one going to be light and number two for most of the area going to be on the grass and on the car. So for tonight, we're cold and cloudy temperatures around freezing tomorrow, cloudy with that rain snow mix and temperatures in the 30s. We're going to hang on to that cold air on Saturday, but watch what happens. This is like March Madness weather edition. Check it out. 60s and 70s by Sunday. So we completely flip the script halfway through the weekend. If you're heading to the Maple Festival in the Highlands, make sure that you're bundled up for Saturday, but not so much for Sunday. So we spring forward in time Sunday morning, but we literally spring forward into another season between Saturday night and Sunday <laughs> afternoon. So